Hello everybody, my name is Nicola and welcome back to my channel. This is the Fuga Cottage where we talk all things money to help you on your financial journey. Today's video is my first cash envelope stuffing for my sinking funds for January 2021. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. So I am determined this year, determined to get back properly into using my sinking fund envelopes properly and have them help me during the year. That's the whole point of sinking funds. I'll leave a link below to the video that kind of goes through the six sinking funds you need in your budget. But these are the ones that are working for us. So you can see I've got them out of my binder. Again, I'll leave a link below to this binder. It's just from Amazon and the envelopes as well. But I've got the six sinking funds out of there. But actually, I'm only going to use four of them today. So the ones I'm going to use today, so I'm going to use the Christmas one. I'm not going to use birthdays. I'm not going to use school at the moment. I'm going to use school holidays, the car, and my extra special one. So they're the four that I'm going to talk about today. So the sinking funds is there particularly to help me for things that are going to happen this year, but like later on. So obviously Christmas has just been, but I want to get a kind of a start on that for now and just see how that works in terms of how much I want to aim to save in this and also how things are looking towards the second half of the year. But we'll, we'll start as we mean to go on. We'll go through all these things and we'll see what happens. So Christmas is the first one. We tend to not go overboard at Christmas. We tend to spend more on birthdays in our house. So Christmas is something that's obviously we know when it's going to arrive and I'm kind of giving myself a lot of time to get organised for that. So for the Christmas envelope, I'm going to put in £30 in the Christmas sinking front envelope as a starting point. So, here we go. So £30 goes into there as a starting point. That gives me a good basis for Christmas. I kind of have a figure in mind, so if I put between 30 and £50 in here each month, then by kind of the end of November I'll have a nice kind of pocket of money that I can use to either buy things in person or buy them online and kind of pay the money back somehow. The second one is school holidays. So although this has the sunshine on it, this generally is for all the school holidays, so February half term, Easter, May half term, the summer holidays and October half term and then Christmas holidays. So it kind of covers a lot of bases and who knows if we'll be able to do anything in February. I'm kind of pinning my hopes on the fact that we will and things might kind of, you'd hope by February, well I don't know, who knows, we might not be able to go anywhere, we're in tier four so we'll see. But for now I'm going to put £20 in the school holidays cash envelope. And that's for like if we go on like little day trips and they want a treat or if we want to go somewhere and it costs money to get in or whatever, that kind of covers those those kind of spend. So that's £20 in the school holidays one and we'll leave it at that for now. The next one I'm going to put some money in is the car MOT. It says MOT but actually it's anything related to the car. It's MOTs in October so obviously that gives us quite a while but it's just general having that kind of bit of money just in case things start to go wrong and you basically need to spend money on something that you've unforeseen I suppose. So in the car envelope I'm going to also put £20 in there for now. And we'll see. That's the kind of one where I don't know what number to aim for. I don't really know. I don't have a number in mind for this one. I've got numbers in mind for all of the others. But for this, it's just kind of adding stuff as and when, and we'll see what happens. So that's £20 in the car envelope. Because a car MOT and service is, is a fair bit of chunk of money without anything needing to be doing and obviously if there's something that needs to then be done on the car as well, you've got to factor that in. So this might not cover the whole cost of that, but it will help to go towards it at the time. If anything else happens in the meantime, then it's just there to help out in that respect at that moment in time. So that's the car one. And then if you've not seen my setup for cash envelopes for 2021, you'll know I have decided to treat myself basically to something that I've wanted for a long, 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 long time. And I'm gonna put money aside for this, 
fairly regularly so definitely monthly and see what that gets me and this is to, to save up to buy myself a mulberry purse or wallet if you're in America and I'm going to put the final £20 I've got here in this and now I haven't shared how much this costs because you know you can go on the mulberry website and look at their purses you can you can see the, the types of sums that you're looking at but I, it's a very personal aim that for me but I'm really excited and I will definitely some people have messaged saying please share it when you finally buy it let's see what you're working towards and believe me when I finally have that I will definitely share it with you kind of just basically it because you can see that then how the process ends once you've saved that so I've got £20 in the mulberry envelope it's unusual to have one just for me and I talk about that in that other video, which I'll leave a link below to below. But it is unusual for me just to put something aside for myself. But I'm trying, I'm trying a new direction this year. Twenty pound in the car envelope and touch wood, we won't need to use that anytime soon. But you just never know. Twenty pound in the school holidays envelope, and let's just hope we can do something by there, by then. It's February half term is the first one, and that's in what, like seven weeks time. So who knows, hopefully we might have gone down a tier by then, but nobody knows, you just can't tell where you're going to end up or where you might think it might be getting better, but then the government's like, nope, you're going to stay there. So we'll see. And then the final one is £30 in the Christmas envelope. And obviously that's the furthest away and it gives me the most time, but I like to buy from independent shops for Christmas night, so I like to support kind of, you know, like the little shops on Instagram that you find in the little kind of lovely things you can find on Etsy that are handmade by people at home. I like to do that because as someone who has an Etsy store, there's nothing more exciting than when a little notification comes up on your phone to say that somebody's ordered something from there. And I like to be able to do the same for other people. So the and so the other the two single funds that I've not put anything in this time is school related expenses and then birthdays the simple reason for that is that we don't have any birthdays this month at all and then school related expenses at the moment there aren't any as far as i can see like coming up there will be some later on in the year and then obviously in august when we buy all the school uniform that's a fairly big expense in terms of what we normally spend but at the moment i feel like it's okay to not have anything in the sinking funds of those at the moment and when I get towards the end of the month, I might do another video on adding some more if I've got any spare money. Obviously, that very much depends on how our budget as a whole is going. But we'll see. So that is my sinking funds envelope, cash envelope stuffing for you for the first time in the new year. Let me know if you got your sinking funds set up. Are they looking okay right now? Are you thinking that you need to have some kind of plan? I need to. So I've added all of those to my sinking fund. What I need to do next is I need to fill out this page in my budget planner it just tells me what is in there at the moment so that I can keep on track. And I'll leave a link below to my budget plan below if you want to check that out. That's on Etsy. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you again very soon.